Mm. I want to make a flagpole for my truck for July 4th. And I don't know exactly how I want to do it yet, but we're going to go do it regardless. I think this will work. The issue is, can a flag like this withstand, you know, 50 mile an hour winds? And I'm not gonna be putting this thing on on the highway, but I wanna rock it while I'm down at the beach. And I'm gonna be going at least 50 miles an hour. I probably will try to keep it under that. But regardless, the flag has to be resilient. And I don't know if this kind of stuff is gonna hold up. PVC pipe, PVC end cap, two fence brackets, four washers. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this so that it's not sticking out so far out of the bed of the truck. So originally what I was gonna do was have the flag mounted right here and that way it would be centered in the middle of the truck and I figured I would just put one end of the bracket on this side, as you can see in a second, put one side of the bracket on here and then simply have the other side of the bracket on the back side of the bed right here behind the cab. And then the flag would be, you know, again, centered and sticking out the back of the truck. What I forgot was that the bed has this lip on it, making it impossible for this to work, unfortunately. So I'm just going to mount it at the back of the truck, which is what most people do. And now I understand why they do that. So we're going to put it right here. Now, the other shitty thing about doing it here is that the brackets I bought are not going to work. As you can see, they will not fit down in there and uh, there's no space to put one in here unless I were to somehow get behind here and drill a hole. So that's obviously not going to work. So what we're going to do, not a big deal. Of course, they were only like, I think $1.98 or something per bracket. So not exactly a waste of money, but still shitty that I can't do it in the way that I want it. I really wanted it to have it centered in the back of the truck up front. I think that would look cool, but this is going to look good as well. So what I'm going to do is get so we're gonna get super ghetto with it and we're just gonna zip tie it here but honestly with this little hook that comes with the truck and you know up in here we can utilize this i think it's gonna be secure i don't think it's gonna go anywhere so let's go ahead and zip tie this bitch
Okay, and as you can see, we are done. And I gotta be honest, this turned out a lot better than I thought it was gonna turn out for doing it last minute here and going with plan B instead of plan A. But this is really not gonna go anywhere. It's super secure, it looks good. And uh, after thinking about this for a second, uh, here's what you would wanna do. You would wanna get the PVC bracket. I like this idea though, but you'd wanna get the PVC bracket that goes around this and then you'd get some metal screws that you would just screw in here and then they would hold themselves in the metal. You wouldn't have to bolt uh, on the other side. That's what you would want to do if you want to do this more permanently and do it right. But this actually works really well and you don't have to drill any holes in your truck. So this looks awesome. And you got to picture this. Here, we'll get rid of this shit. You got to picture this like flowing in the breeze on the beach, looking good on July 4th. That's going to look absolutely fantastic. And what I did was I also trimmed down my flag a little bit uh, because it was just a little bit too tall as it was. So I cut about I cut about like a foot off of this thing, honestly, but that is gonna look great. And we're gonna go ahead and go out on the road and test it out here in a second. All right, so here's the deal. There are some cops over here that have someone pulled over on the right. Now we all know my tires are illegal. So we're gonna see if they give me shit for it. We're gonna go buy them real slow. I feel like I got away with something. Had they not had someone pulled over already, I don't know, maybe they would've given me shit. But so far, only one cop has said something about my tires. And I've been driving around like this for a pretty long time. I'll give you guys a nice view here. So I mean, my front tire is is basically give or take half out from the from the truck. Half is underneath it, the other half is sticking out. So uh, hasn't been too bad so far. So as you can all clearly see, not only does this thing look fantastic going down the road, but also I tested up to about 60 miles an hour. No signs of anything flying off, which is always a plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.